Do you have a mentor in your business? On this episode of Title Tuesdays. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. Don't forget to subscribe and text in to get added to our VIP text list. This is where you're able to get access to our videos 24 hours early. We'll send you a text message on Monday right to your cell phone, but you have to make sure you text in. It's the only way to get access to these videos on your smartphone. Otherwise, you have to wait to get the email alert on Tuesday. Today we're talking about a very special topic where I'm gonna pay tribute to one of my mentors that, that I met many, many years ago, and I'm gonna read five laws which are called the laws of stratospheric success. And then I'm gonna ask you to write them down. You can pause the video and write them down, maybe do a screenshot of the video. These are the five laws that have helped create me the, the uh, world of success that I've had in this business. So my mentor's name is Bob Burke. All of you should be able to have a mentor in the business, whether they are industry related or not industry related. Many of you remember the video I did a couple of weeks ago on our 100th episode where I talked about adding value and building relationships. Bob Burke was one of the founders of referral and relationship marketing and he came up with a book called The Go-Giver. And in The Go-Giver, and there have been two others since then, in The Go-Giver, they talk about five laws of stratospheric success. And I'm a firm believer that you should have mentors that are industry related and mentors that are not industry related because there are some that are gonna help you uh, develop your business and build your business and there are some that are gonna help you when you have problems. A lot of questions people ask me is, well, who does the title king turn to when you have a problem? Who does the title king turn to when you have questions? And I have a, a wealth of knowledge in this business, but I always come across challenges and I always come across problems and questions that I need to reach out to someone else. Whether I reach out to one of our attorneys, to one of our underwriters, or one of my trusted referral partners. It could be real estate brokers of a real estate firm. It could be uh, hard money lenders, regular conventional lenders when questions come across my desk. I always have a source of people that I can reach out to to help answer my questions and help me help you. So it's very important to make sure you have a mentor in this business, people you can reach out to and strategize with, almost like a board of directors that you can meet with and talk about your business and it doesn't always have to be industry related. Some of the best knowledge and best tips can come from someone who doesn't even understand your business in the, the real estate related side of it, but they may understand how to structure business, how to uh, deal with uh, staffing issues, how to deal with marketing issues. So it's great to have a knowledge of people uh, that are able to help you out. So now you're gonna see on the screen here, we're gonna put up the five laws of stratospheric success, and I am going to read them to you, so this way you have them on your computer. The first one talks about the law of value. And it says that your true worth is determined by how much more you give in value than you take in payment. That means you need to add extreme value to your referral relationships. If you constantly add value, givers gain. At some point, that extreme value will turn into profit for you. The second law, the law of compensation, says your income is determined by how many people you serve and how well you serve them. So this one I like to relate sometimes to uh, charitable work. How many people you touch? How many people you serve? A Couple of weeks ago on our back to school drive, we partnered with Church by the Glades right down the street here, and we partnered and we purchased over 80 backpacks for underprivileged children in this community. And it, we don't do it because we want anything in return, but we know the more people we serve, whether it's through the church, whether it's through kids in distress, whether it's through the soup kitchen, the more people we serve, the more business will come our way one day. It's not about givers gain in this sense, it's about serving more people and then good things will happen to you. So now we're gonna talk about the third one. This is the law of influence and I love this one, uh, probably one of my favorite. It talks about your influence is determined by how abundantly 
You place other people's interest first. One of the reasons Independence Title is so successful because we're always putting our clients first. We want to make sure your best interest is protected. We want to make sure you as the agent or you as the lender or the mortgage professional or the investor or the consumer are well educated. We want to put you first before the transaction. And many companies make that mistake. They put the revenue first. They want to put the deal before the relationship. And it doesn't make sense to do that. So now we're going to talk about the fourth law, the law of authenticity. The law of authenticity says the most valuable gift you offer is yourself. Now that's pretty important. The most valuable gift you offer is yourself. I want all of you that are watching this know that you have something of value to provide your clients. You have something of value to provide your community. You have something of value to provide your local charities. It's not always about money, it could be about time, it could be about education, which is why we go around to so many of these events and just educate people as much as we can. Because we are a firm believer, the more we educate you, the better off everyone's going to be. The more tools you have in your toolbox, the better business you are going to be able to do. And I hope that resonates with you and makes sense. So now we're gonna move on to the fifth and final law the law of receptivity. The key to effective giving is to stay open to receiving. And this is probably one of the hardest ones. You have to be open to receiving. Not necessarily receiving feedback, but how about receiving support? How about receiving help? So many people block out the help that's coming in because they don't receive it well. They always think they have to do it by yourself. You need to know that there are people out there that are willing to help you. And you have to let them into your circle. You have to be able to receive their assistance and receive their guidance in order to help you move forward. If you can open your hearts and open your minds to receiving that support from your community, you are gonna find yourself in a better position to go out and help more people. So I hope you enjoyed watching these five laws of stratospheric success. Bob Berg was a very big mentor uh, in my life. When, when business turned, I looked for some support and he was there to support me and help convert my business into a better referral generating business as opposed to always looking for the next deal in online marketing and buy this lead. We talk about how you can convert referrals and relationships into more revenue. So thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed producing it. Don't forget to text in, subscribe below, give us a thumbs up, a comment, maybe let us know you're watching this video and you enjoyed something that you saw in today's episode. So thanks for watching this episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher signing off and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.